things together. I'm a huge, passionate fan of people collaborating and working together to do wonderful things. Now, you can do this with lots of different people, obviously with your colleagues, but also with lots of other people as well, which I'm going to explore right now. Apologies if this makes you dizzy, but that's half the fun. Come on in. Right, so um, teachers, you may share things with your colleagues informally, you may give them lesson plans, you may even come up to them and say, hey, I've got, I've got a bit of history for you, you want it? Um, but lots of the times, actually, we squirrel these things away. We don't use them to the best of our ability. Now, there are lots of different reasons that I think that is the case, um, but there are lots of different ways you can also share things. So you can share lesson plans, yes, but you can also share teaching strategies. How many people have actually said to somebody, you know what, that lesson would have been really good if you flipped it. And if you don't know what flipping lessons is, then um, you obviously haven't been to my Ofsted lessons. Anyway. Um, so, um, obviously collaborating as well, there's lots of things like team teaching, which is uh, a really good thing to do, and obviously share expertise, because in the end, we can't know everything, except if you're a primary school teacher like me, and then we have to. So, um, there are lots of different places where you can share, so you can obviously share between departments and within the senior management team to move your things on, but... Why don't we do it? Why don't we share as much as we do? Why aren't we posting our lessons? Why aren't we posting all of these wonderful things across our classrooms, across the staff room walls? Why are we not sharing these wonderful things that we're making? Now, it could be the fact that we're being modest and we're saying, well, who's going to want this? I mean, it's only taken me five hours of my weekend to prepare. Um, but why are we not sharing these things? Do we think that the fact that we don't, don't have time to share these things, is it a fact that we are not able to do that sort of thing and to um, give the time over to be able to share these things to the wider community? Is it possibly the fact that we're going to use all of these wonderful resources to eventually write our bestseller and get out of teaching, perhaps? That's my plan, at least. Right, anyway, and... Um, obviously, you can share, not just with colleagues, but also with the children in your class. Now, Digital Leaders, if you haven't heard of them, are a collection of children who are trained up. They are experts in the field of ICT, and they go in and troubleshoot for teachers. It's a proper job in the school. It's not just a club. It's not just um, a little lunchtime club. It's a responsibility and something which they cherish in the school. Now, my digital leaders do all sorts of things. They've also they've, uh, attended staff meetings to help teachers get trained up on various bits and pieces. So we've, um, in the last 18 months, um, started to use uh, a new learning platform, which is based on, uh, on Google Apps. And the children are vastly ahead of all the members of staff in the school, including myself. So, we use that expertise to the best of our ability. Right. Um, so I've already mentioned some of those things. A couple of things that you can do, obviously, is you can blog these wonderful things that you're doing, which many people do. Hands up if you blog resources, please. Oh. Well, hopefully after tonight, you're going to change all of that. I know. And there's some wonderful people in here that are going to be talking about their blogs. So I'm not going to name drop anybody. Tom and Chris as well. Fantastic bloggers, which you must read. Um, but of course, there's teach meets as well. But there's something I've forgotten. It's Twitter. Now, Twitter is fantastic for being able to share wonderful things in an instant, in 140 characters. It's short, it's snappy, it's wonderful. Why are we not doing this? Why are we not saying, I found this wonderful idea? Try it to the entire world. Now, we have some, again, prolific, blog, uh, prolific um, tweeters in here. And if you're not on Twitter, it is the most fantastic, easy resource for you to share and to get ideas just for the asking. Have you got um, a history resource about the Vikings, about their longboats at three o'clock in the morning? And bang, it's there just for the asking. It's a wonderful resource. Get onto it. It's fantastic. Right. Um, also, if you like the Teach Me format, um, if you don't know of uh, UK EdChat on Twitter, uh, I am a uh, co-administrator on that chat, and we are running a Teach Meet style um, online um, presentation in a week's time, uh, next Thursday, in fact. So if you like listening to fantastic CPD, get along to it. It's all online, it's all videos, and it's fantastic. If you want to hear more, then my details are over there at, later on. Sure. Right. Two minutes. You're actually timing me. Oh, I thought I got away with that as well. Right, just a few people that you might want to follow. 
So those are a few names, so some serious name drops, and there are several people in here uh, which you can um, follow who are fantastic. They share wonderful things just, um, just because they want to, just because they want to share their passion for teaching and education and raising the standards with m millions of people. Right, a couple of things that you can do in your class to collaborate both with the children and with, the, um, with your colleagues as well. This particular resource is one that I found back in December. It's called Real Time Board. You can probably guess what it does. It's a real time board. Um, basically, anybody can go onto this site, up to 100 people, and you can actually collaborate, draw on your whiteboard, and somebody else sees it pop up on their screen at the same time. But better than that, they can draw on it as well. They can add videos to it as well. They can put links onto it as well. They can put photos on it as well. It's a wonderful resource. Use it. It's fantastic. My class love it. They do their homework on it. Wonderful. Really? Fine. Right, this one. This is a website where you can make collaborative videos in real time. Again, it's all online. And you can uh, do it in, in real time. So the children go on it at home. They do it in school. And they can collaborate at the same time. All these links I will share with you at the end. I know I'm going very fast because Andy's nagging me. Right, Croquet. This is an audio um, website. So you can record up to 30 seconds of audio on it. It's completely free. It doesn't require a sign-in. And you can share the link with whoever you want to. For some reason, my class have used it for French quite a bit. I think there's a link there somewhere. Right, and the very last one is Edu Creations. Again, this is a whiteboard um, software where you can record a video of your lessons. Surely not. Right, well, in that case, I'm going to leave there lest I get hit by a camel. There's another one for you, but I really don't want to get hit by a camel. Right, that is me. I'm out of here. <laughs>